from Menards. You buy them and then you send a rebate and you get them free. So 50 cents and then after the rebate they're free. And then I wrote on them the bullet weight and size. And then I also had these. If there's a whole bunch of one caliber, like 30 caliber. Little trays here. They get bigger up to 311 down at the bottom or 312. I had a whole bunch of. Nope, these are more 30 caliber stuff. My 9 millimeters at the bottom. And the 44. Round ball to 300. And there's the 45 caliber, 230s at the bottom of this one. It's the only one they fit into is the big tray at the bottom. And the molds were laid out in this shelf from 22 lean alignment through six and a half millimeter seven millimeter 30 caliber I wrote the sizes on the handles on the Lee here's the uh, 358s there's some mountain molds in the back one's a 375 and there's a 416 some 44 caliber stuff, 45 caliber stuff. There's an NEI mold in the back. It's a 458 700 grain. Some more mountain mold. There's my lone RCBS. Mountain mold and an NEI. That's the biggest one. That's for my Tyrannosaur. It's an 1150-grain bullet. Over here is the lead. This is my Corbin 22 jacket core maker, so I can make bullets out of 22 rimfire for my 223. I just made some cores up. These are like 0.18 inches, and they get squeezed inside of a. 22 rim fire that's been straightened and then a tip formed and then you got a 22 bullet. I saw, uh, these are 50 grain cores and then the jackets are about 10 grains so you get about a 60 grain bullet which takes up the whole length of uh, 22 rim fire. We've got one pot that has wheel weights in it. Use that for the cores. That pot has linotype or linotype, and that's an old junker I don't use much. Marvelux for fluxing. I use a torch to preheat stuff, just to get the sweat off. You can heat the molds, and the, especially this, until it drives away the moisture. You don't want to go any hotter than that. Let the lead do the rest. Here it's just pure lead. 
and then linotype down here. And this is all wheel weights. And then here's some big slabs of linotype I got from an old printer. That's a 75 pound slab. And then the other three are 80 pound slabs. And then I broke one up and I made all that, all those ingots out of that. But I don't use that much now that I learned how to heat treat. So I just use the wheel weights and I heat treat them. And I get 30 Brunel hardness out of it. So that covers the rifle and the high pressure pistol. And there's my heat treating toaster oven. Doesn't do a whole lot of time, but that's. That's all I do anyway at a time. Probably another 20 minutes and these will be done.